An excellent opportunity to investigate a very interesting group of organisms occurs each year, about one week after Halloween. A pumpkin represents a large store of carbohydrates and proteins, molecules rich in energy. The source of biological energy is sunlight, collected by green plants through photosynthesis. This energy can be transferred to animals which feed on plants. A related method of acquiring energy is by absorbing nutrient molecules from decaying organic materials. This lifestyle is the specialty of the fungi. Fungi include such familiar organisms as mushrooms, molds, yeasts, which are microscopic organisms often found growing on the surface of fruits, and uh, some more or less familiar parasites. Over 60,000 living species are classified as fungi, and new ones are found each year. Until recently, all of these organisms were classified as part of the plant kingdom. However, fungi lack chlorophyll, and so are unable to make food by photosynthesis. Also, their cellular structure is quite different from plants, in that fungi are made up of thread-like hyphae. Each hypha may contain many nuclei, whereas plants generally have but one nucleus per cell. These are some of the reasons that many biologists prefer to place fungi into a kingdom of their own. Giving fungi independent status creates a classification breakdown of living things into five kingdoms. The plant and animal kingdoms, which include most of our familiar multicellular life forms, the kingdom protista, which is made up of single-celled organisms such as protozoans and most algae. The kingdom monera, made up entirely of microorganisms in which the DNA is not contained within a nucleus. This group includes bacteria and blue-green algae, the most primitive living things. And the kingdom fungi, composed of multicellular organisms which lack photosynthetic pigments, but with nuclei and cell walls and which reproduce by means of spores. Fungi obtain energy by digesting organic materials and then absorbing the digested products. The dark areas indicate where digestion of the fruit is taking place. After six days, the fungi have nearly completed the decomposition process, converting most of the fruit into fungal tissue and reproductive structures. The breakdown is accomplished by the hyphae, which secrete digestive enzymes into the surrounding environment. The digested nutrients are absorbed by the hyphae and distributed throughout the hyphal network. Once established, the mold will begin producing reproductive structures called sporangia. In this mold, the sporangia are held aloft by means of rigid hyphae. The slight elevation will aid in dispersing the numerous spores developing within each sporangium. The constant flow of materials to the sporangium suggests that fungi, like other life forms, pour their energies into reproduction. Under drying conditions, the sporangium will split open and release hundreds of airborne spores, each capable of beginning a new mold colony. Spores may also be transported by insects. Here, a fruit fly, attracted to the decomposing pumpkin, accidentally picks up a load of spores. Traveling from one fruit to another, the insect will inoculate each food source it touches. The dispersal of fungi by means of spores has many variations. 
Molds which make their living by decomposing dead water animals have developed swimming spores. In the water mold's elongated sporangium, the tight packed spores can be seen. At maturity, the spores are extruded through a pore at the tip of the sporangium, where they form a spore ball. Propelled by flagella, the spores become active and many break free. Guided by chemical signals, the escaping spores will locate a bit of dead material, settle, and begin the growth of a new mold colony. Spores are the asexual method of reproduction in fungi, but these organisms also engage in sexual forms of reproduction. Here, a female structure called an oogonium is developing. Within the oogonium, a single large cell, the egg, is maturing. Responding to attractants produced by the oogonium, the male structure called an antheridium approaches. In a short time, the antheridium has produced hyphal fingers which clasp the female. Nearby, another oogonium has developed several eggs. Male nuclei, the equivalent of sperm, penetrate the oogonium and fertilize each egg cell. Within hours, the fertilized egg has developed a thickened outer wall. These resistant zygotes can overwinter, producing a new generation of water molds the following spring. Now we can add another aspect to our definition of the kingdom fungi. Fungi are, with a few exceptions, sexual organisms.